The journey from reception to year two is crucial for literacy skills. The mouse went on through the deep, dark woods. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse was good. We dropped in on just one infant school over the course of one week to look at the journeys children are making and what's helping them along the road. Broadmead Infants is a large, multicultural, three-form entry nursery and infant school set in North Croydon, um, so just on the edge of the outer London area. Very often, the children here come in at low levels of experience in terms of literacy, and that could be for all kinds of reasons. So our challenge is by the time they finish in year two that they should be confident readers and confident writers and not becoming just a decoder of print, but somebody who can infer meaning and engage with books in a critical sense. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Walk further into the deep, dark wood and discover what happens when the quick-thinking mouse comes face to face with an owl, a snake, and a hungry Gruffalo. What's a Gruffalo? Great question, Diego. What is a Gruffalo? They're on a journey, so you know they'll know this story. They'll, they'll know lots of stories, and they'll continue to learn not lots of stories. And then, with the storytelling, they'll be able to ha use all of that knowledge that they've built, they've learnt, to actually become great storytellers, which would then lead into them becoming fantastic story writers, writing their own stories from the different openers that we, you know, engage in the different characters, different feelings of characters, and they'll be able to become super authors. That's my plan. Does anyone know what a gruffalo is? Yeah. Uh, a bear. A bear. Cheyenne. Uh, it must be floating. You think it might be a floating? Is it? So it's a floating creature. Shall we have a look? Yeah. Let's have a look. <laughs> The character was the Gruffalo, who's the Gruffalo? So they're able to ask questions, answer questions, talk about what they were looking at, um, talk about what they've just the story they've just heard. Where are you going to, little mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Amanda is reinforcing their phonics work. But letting the children talk about the story and characters is really important. Away, snake slid. Naughty, 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 Why is he naughty, Lucy? Listen to Lucy's idea. I mean, I mean. He's a naughty mouse because he's scaring his friends. That's brilliant. One of the things that we've done a lot of in the last couple of years is really focus on speaking and listening so that they develop the sense of speaking in sentences, presenting their ideas in all kinds of different ways but becoming confident in speaking and knowing that their voice will be heard. And I'm going to ask Alamont. Um, uh, I'm afraid. Why I'm afraid? I'm scared of the Gruffalo. <gasps> the Gruffalo. Four weeks to go and they'll be moving on up to year one and they'll be able to take on all of the learning they've taken with them and that'll be a transition. Everybody must have something to say about the picture. Now you Year one are working on the characters and story of Gregory Cool, a Key Stage 2 book. Kira's using ideas from the Centre for Literacy in Primary Education. The thing I feel passionate about is if we want children writing, they have to have something they want to write about. And that's where things like um, sending staff on the Power of Reading course has come in. Basically there's a whole load of us who go from Croydon and we talk about um, what we've been doing, we all share at the beginning what books you've been using, what you've been doing to kind of get the children to understand the book and how you kind of get them into it. So I've got a lot out of it of how to kind of get the children really immersed in the books. The mum is thinking, where can I get a new handbag? I'm thinking, why is um, the, grand the mum putting his hand, her hand around the boy? 
Today um, was the start of looking at a new book. On the tables they each uh, had a picture from the book and they were going to be talking about it with their group and they were writing down key ideas. Um, so they had to be thinking about who the characters might be, what they might be thinking, what they might be saying to each other, how the characters might be feeling. Um, so lots of talking before writing, which is always the key idea, really. So you've got all your ideas in there, but they're a bit muddled, aren't they? Maybe next time we can think about writing a sentence in a nice line so we can read it easier, OK? Samir, so, what do you think? Uh, very little boy doesn't know who to live with. Ah, so maybe you think he's not sure whether to live with Dad or to live with Mum. Yeah? What a lovely idea. That's really clever. Do you maybe the boy thinks he's hungry. Maybe the boy is hungry. I know in Orange Group, they, lots of them thought that maybe the boy was hungry. Lovely. Malika. Um, the little boy wants to get some chocolate. But Dad said you're not allowed chocolate. And the mum? He might be feeling worried. Why do you think he's feeling worried? Because he doesn't want to go wherever they go because because he never gets what he wants. But gra but the grown-ups always get what what um what they want. Yeah. When the staff plan literacy. They plan a sequence of learning over the week or fortnight that would lead to the children being in a place where they're ready to write. So the sequence very much doesn't produce writing every day. It would produce writing towards the end of any week or fortnightly unit. Now, I wonder if you're thinking about what that character would say. We're going to be doing lots of talking and lots of drama and we're kind of building up towards writing in role. I am being Lenny. This is the picture that they are going to be acting out. And I know that they're going to be changing their facial expression and their body language. And they're going to say what the character would be thinking. Three, two, one. I'm hot. Why is Gregory not coming to feed the goats? Lovely, I like the way you said that, fantastic. Three. Two, one. Why do I have to climb up this tree? Oh, I'm thirsty. Fantastic. Good girl. That was wonderful. And sit down for me. I've always tried to make them really think about what they're going through. Like lots of talking beforehand. I think that's really the key. I mean, we, we can't expect children to write sentences if they can't say them. Dear diary, I feel upset. I don't want to be in the baker. Food is disgusting. The sand at the beach is too hot. I can't run on it. I wish I was with my mum and dad because I don't like to bake. Gregory. They're so enthusiastic about writing. I, back in September, I didn't think I'd get that from them. And now they're really kind of there and it's great. OK, you ready? Year two are also using drama to explore characters. They're getting into role to begin retelling a story, ready for a big writing session at the end of the week. Brilliant. It's the electricity bill, announced the captain. Unless we pay up in four weeks, we are going to be cut off. We've been working with the um, Indoor Pirates by Jeremy Strong. Um, the reason for that is because it's based within the whole topic of pirates and the seaside that we're doing throughout this term. We wanted them really to kind of explore and have their own interpretations of the text. So getting them to retell the story and then have their own interpretation of what would be a good solution to the pirates problem. Now this is where you come in because I think you will be able to think of some great ideas for how to make money. Ishmael. They can make a wish in well. Lots of people put coins in it and make wishes, and then when they got a lot of money, they can give it to the electricity. Brilliant. Company. So they could put money into a wishing well. They might steal some money. They might steal some money. Did anybody else have an idea about Stealing. Oh, oh no, those pirates, they're good at stealing. Um, what other ideas, apart from stealing, okay, for the money-making plan, what else could they do? Bradley. They could 
get a job. They could get a job. What kind of job do you think they could get? Showing how to be a pirate. That's a great job, isn't it? Showing people how to be a pirate. Their solutions were in keeping with the pirate role. And I think they also showed um, remorse and they knew that it was wrong by having the character Bald Ben, who was very worried and nervous about the situation. So they brought, they brought his character trait into it as well. So they knew that it was wrong, but they thought it was something that a pirate would do. Who do you think is going to be the threatening one? Which character do you think is going to be threatening, asking for the money? Captain Blackpatch. Maybe Captain Blackpatch, OK. Who do you think is going to feel a bit uneasy, a bit nervous about the situation? Bald Ben. Bald Ben. So I think you definitely need Captain Blackpatch and Bald Ben in your role play, don't you? After the excitement of role play, the big writing atmosphere and structure helps them organise their ideas to arrive at a longer composition. Big writing really is just a year two focus at the moment in the school. The way that big writing helps is there's a lots of securities in there. We're reminding them of all the elements that are needed in writing and then their plan there is in front of them. Then they go away and do their writing independently and that's really the difference from when they're coming in to the end of year two is they're all very confident writers. They're happy to give things a go. On an ordinary street, there was an ordinary lane lived some unusual, strange pirates. Bold Ben is the sensitive one, and also for the truth, he really had a teddy. After that, Lampy Lawson, he's really fidget. And finally, the twins, they always argue, and that's all I can say. Why was that piece of writing really good? Why were we engaged and interested? Layla? It was exciting and interesting to to listen to and read. I think we've created a really exciting journey through, you know, through, throughout year two. Um, we've started with them thinking about themselves, um, text, poetry, um, and now kind of ending on this, um, what we call with the children a chapter book, a long extended book that they can really engage in and absorb in at a time where they're putting all their skills together. The children at Boardmead cover a lot of ground pretty fast, but they seem to enjoy it. I think that's key, is having high expectations of children. Uh, wherever they start, to have expectations that they will make progress. And clearly if children come into school at lower levels of experience uh, and achievement, we have a duty not just to make sure that they make some progress, but that they make accelerated progress. And we celebrate that very regularly, we celebrate it weekly in our assemblies, uh, we celebrate learning so that children have a sense of the learning journey that they're making themselves. So many children who come through our school may come in with very little experience of books and they leave with a love of books.